Regreso aquí en el último segmento de esta edición especial de Auto 060 sobre el Auto Show Los Ángeles 2013, donde tuvimos una gran cantidad de debuts, más de 20 debuts eh, eh, mundiales y algunos de Norteamérica que ya habían sido presentados en el Auto Show de Frankfurt. Y uno de los debuts mundiales ha sido la nueva generación de la Mini Cooper, eh, The New Original, como le llama la firma británica. Así que para esta ocasión les vamos a hacer, no es una entrevista como tal, es la presentación tal cual como sucedió allá en Los Ángeles la noche previa a la inauguración del Auto Show Los Ángeles 2013. Así que escuchemos aquí la presentación sobre los aspectos de diseño del nuevo Mini Cooper 2014. I'd like to welcome uh, two more special guests, two members of the Mini Design Team who had uh, a significant input into the design of, of the new original. First of all, the director of BMW Group Design is Adrian Van Hoylonk, and Mini Chief of Design, Anders Warner. Here they are. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well, it must be a fantastic opportunity to, to get to design an, an iconic vehicle like this, but probably a lot of pressure and a big challenge as well, yeah? Well, it is, but, uh, you know, when you do car design, you never have to grow up, and uh, we, we count ourselves lucky that we are able to make our hobby into our profession, and we love this brand, we love the design for that. Brilliant. Well, guys, I'm going to leave you the floor and please tell us a bit about this wonderful car. Okay, yeah. In, in very brief terms, in a couple of minutes, we will take you through uh, the thoughts and ideas that went into this car. Uh, as you know, or as you just heard, the uh, Mini started in 1959. It was designed or rather engineered as a very clever, small car, uh, a small car to uh, transport for people. But very quickly after its launch, uh, it became a cult object. It became a very, very stylish icon and it was loved by people all over the world. And now, um, more than 50 years later, uh, I think it's safe to say that very few car concepts survived this long or became so popular. So yes, indeed, uh, it is a big responsibility to design uh, the next uh, new icon, that is true. Uh, in 2001, though, uh, the Mini Design Team, I think, already did a great job uh, capturing uh, the spirit uh, of what was once uh, just one car and now has become a brand. Uh, Mini is uh, definitely uh, aimed for people that love life and like to show that. Uh, and for this generation of car, uh, of the, the new Mini, uh, the vision was uh, to make it uh, even a little bit more luxurious, uh, a little bit crisper, sharper on the outside and in the inside, and pack it full with the latest technology that uh, our customers crave today. How the team did that, I think uh, Anders can, can give you a quick run through. Anders, please. I'd love to tell you a little bit about this design. It is a very special moment for me, I think, uh, it, is, it was mentioned, it is sort of a special thing to be able to work on this kind of a car, and there was a lot of attention that went into designing of this car. The, the important thing is that when you see the Mini in the front view, the way it came to out towards you just before, you have to remember the media view has to be iconic. You have to remember Mini is so important to so many people that in the front view, when you see the grille, you see the round headlights, This is what you're supposed to see immediately as an icon. On the other hand, we've taken these two icons, both of them, and taken a little bit further. The grille in the lower part is now integrating the bumper beam, and that is actually an echoing of where we came from in the past. The original meaning, 1959, had a larger grille, and we're actually reintroducing that on this design here with the integration of the somewhat larger grille. In the front, also, you see the round headlights. For me, it's such an important icon that you have round headlights from a Mini, and now with LED technology. You see the daytime running light with LED, and I think it's super important that these icons are rooted in tradition, but at the same time full of the latest technology. In the side view of the car, and I guess you'll have an opportunity afterwards to walk a little bit around the car, I brought some images here on the wall so you can see it in the pure side view. Very quick word on that side view of the car also immediately recognizable as an icon in my view. You see the red body, the greenhouse, and then the contrast roof, in this case a white roof. Also that is an icon when you see the car on the road, immediately recognize it. The car has gotten a little bit longer as far as the wheelbase, which means a little more interior volume, but we've also introduced some crisp lines Adrian was mentioning before, over the front wheel, over the rear wheel, and in the lower part of the door. These are new design features and that I believe help set up the car even better in the way it sits on the road and that's so important to us. When you see a car, how it sits on the road is very um, of a huge importance. 
in the rear view, you will see that it will be also the iconic view. You see the two vertical tail lights, and you also see the brown elements inside of these tail lights. First view, really immediately recognizable, with also here a couple of crisp lines around the tail lights, and then take it into this, I, I believe, new and innovative version. Yeah, still very recognizable as a mini, very, very compact. No car company can do overhangs this short. Uh, it looks like it's meant to go fast and, uh, and give you fun while doing that, and it will. In the interior, of course, uh, you sit incredibly close to the road. Uh, designing the interior for a mini is about being very, very clever in a very small space. Uh, we have improved uh, the ergonomics and the functionality in the interior of this car. You'll find the switch here where you think it, uh, it should be. Uh, we, of course, retained uh, a large sensor instrument, uh, and you know that in the original Mini that was the only instrument that was there, and in today's cars, with internet connectivity, we need to offer a little bit more, so that round instrument now is where you will find all the entertainment and navigation functions, and you will even uh, be able to find a head-up display in this generation of the car. But it doesn't stop there, does it, Anna? In the interior, the experience is not just the graphics, but it's also the materials, the materials that you feel. And we've taken the interior on this design to another level. The dashboard has a very soft feeling to it. You have also a nice acoustic inside of the car, great acoustic insulation in the car. And that translates in all the use of material, the way we design the door panels center console, all these features. But maybe a highlight for me personally is the way we've worked around some designs for the seats. We'll have an array of seat materials from tartan that is obviously based on the British heritage also to something that's very dear to my heart which is the, the word sustainability. We actually have a seat made out of sustainable materials and that is part of the range and I believe that's what makes me so, so important to this world rooted in tradition, but also with new innovative solutions. Yeah, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we can conclude very quick, uh, run through to the design. We're here for you for the remainder of the evening. More than happy to show you the car. Esa fue la presentación oficial en vivo ahí, como estábamos en el, el día anterior a la, a la inauguración oficial de la Auto Show Los Ángeles 2013, del nuevo Mini Cooper, con los diseñadores eh, del grupo BMW y del grupo Mini. Eh, como les, ya les dije antes, eh, vayan a la página de YouTube, YouTube Javier Mota, donde están todos los videos, porque una cosa es que nos describan aquí a través de la radio todas las características de este nuevo Mini, pero otra cosa es que lo puedan admirar ahí, tal como es eh, esta nueva generación del nuevo Mini 2014, una de las grandes novedades en el Auto Show Los Ángeles 2013. Eh, como decía, fueron en total más de 20 debuts, así que hay bastante que ver por ahí. Eh, y la semana próxima, en la siguiente edición, vamos a tener todavía más información de autos que no nos ha dado tiempo de mencionar en este show. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.